on the table in front of us here we have the Jessen um, Master Lift 2 and this is what we're going to do, we're going to put it together with the motor unit of the AEG MK 1400KE uh, this, so we've found is the only router that will actually fit this, this lift because it's the only router available in Europe that we can see really that has enough power and um, you can remove the motor unit so let's take a closer look at the, the master lift here um, you can see it comes with four holding blocks and these here are attached to the actual carriage unit here by these nuts and to make it fit this motor because this lift will fit many other different routers in the American market we have to move these you can see that it's multi-positional here this is the clamping uh, device this once these are in place this gets tightened up and it locks the, the, the motor housing um, securely in place I've already lowered the carriage down to the there's some rubber um, flanges under here we just lower this down with the with the turning mechanism I've already done these three one two three here and now I'll just quickly show you the um, fourth one it's just a matter of undoing this nut here and out of the box it comes you can just see here it comes in, in position in this position here this is position A and this is position B this one here and this is where we want it to go it goes back into hole number one that's the correct position for this router and then it's just a matter of tightening that back up okay I'll just get the Allen key okay and tightening it back up again okay so that's all four in place we've got the unit up here on blocks because when we put the um, the plunger uh, the the motor unit we don't want to damage the, the spindle housing here so now it's just a matter of working out where we want the actual switches and everything because when it gets fitted under the table of course we're going to have to get under the table to do that and for me it's at the front side of the table here and as we're coming around here this here is actually the front because this is where the height adjuster is so therefore the motor unit is going to want to fit in this way and it's just a matter of dropping it in that was pretty simple wasn't it okay once it's dropped in place they say that you have to lift the motor unit then by 1 16th of an inch which is 0.4 millimeters so I suppose this is to stop it from stop the motor unit from actually damaging um, the plate here now what they've what I found in a plastic bag that came with the with it all is was a set of um, plastic shims you know, these here and through and that you it comes with three and three equals exactly four millimeter uh, point four of a millimeter so I cut it into threes and what I'll do is I'll just lift the motor back out put these on the plate and drop the motor back down and then it's just a matter of tightening uh, the locking clamp again and then we're finished so um, I'll get the camera back up on the stand and then we'll see about mounting it onto the router table